If you want to hide your IP address while you're using the internet, then you actually have several ways that you can go about doing that. Of course, a VPN is one of them. That's probably what led you here, and obviously what we specialize in on this channel, but it's far from your only option. Today, we're going to cover the four best ways to hide your IP address, their upsides, their downsides, so that we can work out which is the best solution for you. You're watching Top 10 VPN. I'm Callum. Let's get started. The four methods for hiding your IP address online that we're about to cover are VPN, proxy, Tor, and mobile hotspot. Full disclosure, yes, there are more potential methods out there, as is always the way with computing, but we think that these are the simplest, most affordable, and all round best ways to go about doing it. So let's start with number one, VPN. As I so often say in these videos, I know how this looks given what our channel and site are about, but VPNs really are the absolute best way to hide your IP address on the internet if you're a regular person and not some sort of Mr. Robot-esque hacker genius. VPNs tick all the boxes. User-friendly software, cover all your devices, don't tamper with your connection speeds all that much, and are generally very affordable. A VPN hides your IP address by replacing it with one of its own instead. When you choose a VPN server to connect to, that server acts as an intermediary between you and a website or service. Your own IP address is swapped out by one for the VPN server, which is all that site or service sees. Your data is also encrypted by the VPN software before it leaves your device, which means that even your ISP can't see what you're doing. All you need to do is install the software, pick a server, and then use the internet exactly as you normally would. You shouldn't even notice a difference. Unless you've picked a VPN server in a different country, I suppose. If your IP address is hidden and replaced with one from another country, then you're going to start seeing the internet as it is in that country. Different languages and websites, different adverts, but it's also something that you can use to your advantage. A big reason VPNs are so popular is because of the benefits to picking an IP address from the right region. A VPN server in the US might be able to unblock the US Netflix content library, for example, while a VPN server in Ukraine might be able to unlock cheaper subscription prices for Netflix. These added benefits are largely unique to VPNs. They do also come at a small cost. The best VPNs won't cost more than the equivalent of a few dollars per month, and while there are free options, I really strongly suggest that you consider paying that fee. Another drawback for you might also be that the IP address you receive likely won't be fixed. And when you connect to a VPN server, you're given a random IP address, potentially sharing it with hundreds of other users, and thus enhancing your anonymity. But that means that you can't sort of live on that spoofed IP address. Some VPNs do offer either dedicated IP addresses or static IP addresses. Both ensure it's the same every time, while dedicated means that you have sole access to it. These usually cost more money though, and I'd ask yourself if it's something that you really need. Number two, web proxy. I wouldn't blame you if you thought that proxies and VPNs were sort of the same thing. They're often marketed that way, and there's definitely similarities between the two, but they are still very much different technologies. First and foremost though, proxies are an excellent way to quickly hide your IP address when you're browsing the web. Rather than being software that you sign up for and download, proxies are normally just websites. Once you're on the website of the one you want, then you enter in the web address you're looking to access and the proxy will send you off onto it. When you do this, the proxy routes your traffic via a remote server in another region so that the IP address the website sees is the proxies and not your own. This means they're a really reliable, popular choice for accessing blocked websites, like if you're at school or university or in the workplace, or even if they've been censored by the government. As I said, it sounds quite a lot like a VPN, right? Right, but with some very important differences. First of all, as most proxies are browser-based, so websites, that means it will only hide your IP when you do anything via that website. Any traffic coming from elsewhere on your device, even from a different browser window, will still show your regular IP address. Not to mention the fact that devices without a web browser won't be able to use them at all. The other most important difference is that proxies don't encrypt traffic. Not when you send them requests, nor when your requests are being sent onto the desired website. Everything is visible just like normal to your ISP, the network administrator, hackers, whoever. It's great that they're usually free, but you're also likely to experience greater slowdown while using one versus a VPN too, and there won't be as big of a server network either, which means less choice of countries. Also, if you were looking to use one to access exotic streaming sites like with a VPN, that might not work even if it does have a server in the required country. Proxies often really struggle to properly handle multimedia content. Number three, Tor browser. Tor is free, open source, and despite what you may have heard, totally legal. It's also a super popular way to very effectively hide your IP address. It's famous for allowing you to access the Onion network, the home of the deep and dark webs. But what you may not have realized is that you can still use it just like a regular web browser to access all the websites that you normally use. You just install the browser, click connect, and use it just like it's Chrome or Firefox. 
When you use Tor, your connection is wrapped in multiple layers of encryption and bounced through a global network of servers before it's sent onto your target website. From the website's perspective, this makes it look as though your traffic requests are coming from the IP address of the final server in the network, thereby concealing your true location and identity. Again, that's a lot like a VPN, except that a VPN only sends you through one server, whereas Tor uses several in a chain. What's really appealing about this is that it's what we call decentralized, there's no one owner. Its individual servers, referred to here as nodes, are all operated by unique volunteers who don't make money for it, and they don't represent any big companies. And Tor is also itself 100% free to use. Like I said, it's a really good way to hide your IP, but there are still downsides. The big one is that like a proxy, it's browser only. You can install the browser on all the big desktop and mobile platforms, but it won't protect the rest of your device's traffic. Because of how its relay network works, you also can't choose an endpoint, meaning that unlike with a VPN or proxy, you can't pick a specific country for your replacement IP address. This makes it a pretty poor tool for accessing geo-blocked website or content. And you shouldn't be trying to use it for streaming anyway, as it's really, really slow compared to a regular web browser. All that encryption takes a toll. Number four, mobile hotspot. One last quick option, it's definitely pretty far removed from our other three, but if you want to think outside the box, then technically you can use your mobile hotspot to hide your IP address. You may well have set one up before, perhaps when your home internet has gone down or when your friend has no data or signal. Within the settings of your Android or iPhone, you can turn your handset into a mobile hotspot with just a couple of taps. Doing so allows other devices to connect to your phone as if it were a wireless router. They use your smartphone's data connection to access the internet and all of their traffic flows through your handset. And after all we've talked about, perhaps you can see what that means. It means that devices connected to your mobile hotspot are now using your device's IP address. This can help you access websites blocked on the Wi-Fi connection or bypass IP bands associated with them. All this takes no time at all and is completely free. But of course, the IP address that's doing the hiding is still yours. It just happens to be your phone's. Plus, your cellular network provider will still be the one seeing all the traffic. It's pretty niche, and obviously the benefits aren't as numerous as with our other options, but you never know when it might come in handy. I hope at least one of these solutions we've covered here works for you. I know they're not all perfect, but it's still a pretty good spread with a lot to like. If you're still wondering exactly why you'd want to hide your IP address though, then I have exactly the video to recommend where we talk all about it. No fear mongering, but some of the reasons are quite scary. As always, you can find more information about everything we've discussed on the Top 10 VPN website, and please do leave me a comment if you want to talk it through. Stay safe and I'll see you in the next video.